what are we gonna do today? What do you mean? Like, I don't know, I'm kind of hungry. Mm. See, yesterday we had this. This but is no one ate it. a uh, leftover hummus from yesterday. And it's a lot of it. I mean, we made a batch for a dip and there's a lot of it left. No so we're gonna it. turn it into bread, right? Bread. Right? Yeah, I mean, it's a dough. We're gonna turn it into a dough. Yeah, and so we can use like it either for the pizza or for like bread, bread buns. buns. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Buns. So here first it is. Thing. We're gonna start with right. this one now. So first, we're gonna add two cups of flour, regular flour. So here's one. That's one. And then another, another, another. cup. Oh, nice and easy. Okay, now we're gonna put What's this called? two, actually three. Spoon. Small spoons. Small spoons of yeast. Yeast. Dry yeast. And then two egg. teaspoons of brown sugar. Gives it a nice texture, nice yeah. smoky flavor. And then, and then we add just a little, just a little bit of water, right? not yeah. too much. Okay, to dissolve the whole thing. So here we go. All right. So we're dissolving everything. You can see it here. Okay. Here we go. We let it work for like two minutes and then okay. we'll come back. So this has bubbled. This means the yeast is working now. So we're going to drop it on top of our mixture. That looks like maple syrup. Exactly. Okay. And now we're going to mix the whole thing together to turn it into a doughy kind of a texture okay and then after we mix it and mix it and you know gets to the doughy texture we then have to knead it and work it on the on the table i'll show you in a second how it becomes like a dough okay keep doing it until it sucks all the uh thing and turns into a dough oh we need another so so here why don't you see that the texture is still not doughy enough so i think what you need to do is put another cup of flour yeah so i'm gonna just eyeball it i think because the cup is dirty yeah the cup is dirty so here we go so this should be like one cup of flour yeah i mean there's no harm putting more okay mm. selena can you run get me the salt i think we need a little bit of salt okay yeah got the salt right here, here. Because we added so much flour, so we need to give it a little bit more About salt. Taste. Yeah, keep that here. It's okay. And then it's turning into a doughy kind of thing. Yeah. Now give me a, a nice big towel so I can cover it. Okay. So you can see now the texture has changed. It is now what we're looking for at this stage. Because we're going to let it last for like one whole hour. One whole hour. Okay. So keep working it so that you incorporate all the sugar, all the yeast, and all part of it. Is this big enough? Yeah. I think this is. This is good. And then we cover it and we're gonna put it in a dark place for one hour and come back. So guys, it's been an hour now. Yeah. And this is the, uh, oh, the dough. Out. It doesn't turn out like a regular dough, so don't expect it to rise like yeah. double the size or stuff. It will just get a little bit more airy because inside. It's yeah, so. because it's hummus and why you're looking like this. Where's your face? Can you come so we can see you? Where are you? <laughs> yes, okay, so now we're going to knead the dough. We're going to put some flour on the table so we can work it out. Oh. Here we go. Yeah, so it doesn't stick onto our table. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because Ooh. no one wants hummus dough on their table. Yeah, and then you can see it's more airy. It's more like... It's fluffy. Yeah, than the normal dough. Because it's hummus. Because it's hummus. It's so not normal dough that you make at home some. for your pizza. Yeah. Now, there's it. Okay. Are you getting this? You guys are seeing that. So you're going to work the dough. You're gonna keep working it until it doesn't stick to your fingers. It doesn't stick to your fingers, that's the whole point of it. So then you know it's ready to put on the pan. Yeah. We're getting there. <laughs> Are we getting there? I think so. Yeah, we're gonna get there. Yeah. Huh. A little bit more flour. 
Hmm, the usual, I'm making a mess. <laughs> but that's what I'm famous for. Not messy, but good. Always when you cook and you make a mess, that's how you know when it's gonna be good. Exactly, I love your uh, theory. <laughs> so, the messier it is, the yummer it took to turn out, yeah. right? Because so. you use creativity when you're so here we go okay we're back now you can see we've flattened it one half of the dough goes and into a pizza kind bread. of a format and this one we shape them into mini loaves and, and mini buns yeah. now what we're gonna do with these is we're gonna sprinkle them with a little bit of sesame Selena can you do that yeah. can you sprinkle a little bit of sesame on all of these little beautiful be generous be generous yeah go go it's okay if this stuff that falls on the pan. Be generous. I like sesame. It gives it like yeah. a nice flavor. Mm -hmm. You can pat it gently so that they stick on it. Just pat them. Yeah, pat them. The whole thing, yeah. That's it. That's it. Now pat them. Pat them. Mm -hmm. So the sesame stick in the dough. Yeah, and then I like to put a little bit of a sprinkle of salt. Yeah, me too. Gives it that kind of a salty flavor when you first bite into it, you know? Okay. There's still a little. Hmm? What? Okay. We're good now. Now this is going to go into the oven and then we're going to continue doing the pizza. We'll show so, you how. For the pizza part, you know, I have leftover kashkaban. The kashkaban is better than the mozzarella. It goes better with the kind of hummus that we made. Yeah. I have leftover chorizos. You can left, have leftover any kind of uh, sausages. But don't use ham, don't use other stuff. No, be Sausages gives it a better flavor with the hummusy kind of uh, version we have. And then I have pre, uh, you know, packed mm -hmm. chopped tomatoes. We're gonna put a little bit here, mm. you know, yeah. just enough. I love to That's it. Sauce. I mean, a little bit more. And then try to spread, spread. them. I think we need a little bit more. This is. Because uh -huh. these are chunks. Yeah. Plus the dough is a bit, not too thin, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's really thick. Yeah, so I like it like that. Here we go. Here we go. Now, what you do is you take the chorizos I and just, you turn them into little bits you and don't, pieces. If you want, you can use yeah. a knife if you wanted to yeah. cut them in bits. I like using my hands and get all messy, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to be back in one minute and um, we'll show you how to continue doing okay. this. So Serena, what's the next step now? We have to grind the cheese on the pizza. Sure. So again, we're using Kashkabal cheese. You need to use a cheese that is not too sweet, that has like that kind of a cake. Provolone would work, you know, if you don't have this, you can use Manchego, you can use Provolone, but I'm using Kashkabal because that's what I have left. So you keep doing this until you recently, you know, Correct. cover the whole thing. Okay, this will take a while, okay, and then we will come back in a second and show you how to put the magic last touch. Here's our secret final touch. So the secret we final touch is... We all love corn on our pizza. But this corn is going to give it that sweet, crunchy bite, you know? That's it why goes... you don't use sweet cheese. Yeah, bravo Selena, you're like... <laughs> Really understanding how this thing works together. <laughs> because I've been cooking with you for seven years. You mean like you've been cooking since you were born? You were like two yeah. days old and you were like flipping what, yeah. burgers? Yeah. All right. That's a big lie. But yeah, okay. I can Actually, it. no. I've been working with you for six years. Yeah, at least when you were like one, you were able to participate. <laughs> hey, you want to finish off these ones? They're yummy. Yeah, I love the bottom ones. Okay. And then... The secret touch is you put some dry coriander. We love that. Yeah, it goes very well with the... It gives us a kick at the end. Mm -hmm. Selena, <laughs> you're killing it this. Okay, okay everyone. So this will go in the oven. We'll show it to you in a minute. So we took these little bun bunnies from the oven. They're golden, they're fluffy. I mean, you can touch them, you can see that. Whoa, they've risen. Really? Yeah, they're fluffy. But see, I told you to pat the sesame down. They didn't really stick. <laughs> anyway, it's super hard. But yeah. let's try. Let's try one. Let's try to take this one. Cut it in half. So it 
Okay, yeah, I'm gonna bring it closer to the camera so you can see, see how, 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 how nice it is. Yeah. And it then looks like open a it and dog. look inside, look. <gasps> oh my god, it's a beautiful bread. I don't know if you it's see it the camera, but it's steaming when you open it. Exactly, so we're gonna let it rest a little bit. Yeah. And then we're gonna bite into it. All right, guys, we just finished the pizza. It's turning out very nice. We'll take one slice and then we'll call Selena. She's doing the piano. Yeah. Call her for a tasting in a minute, but just for you to see how awesome this is coming out. It's a perfect pizza slice. We'll have the tasting later and the judgment by Selena. Okay, so here's the it tasting, the big moment. So I want you to give it a shot and tell me how it tastes and be honest. I want to have our... Okay. You know, viewers understand exactly the taste that we're gonna end up having. Oh my god. No, seriously, now don't pretend like. Uh uh. Really? Mm hmm. You can taste the hummus, which is actually good because you can taste the hummus. Um, and the corn is really good. I, I just like it. I don't know how to explain it. I just like it. <laughs> no, really? No, really? Dude, I like it. Is it? Take mm. another bite. <laughs> so conclusion, would you would you like, uh, let's say if I have another case of leftover hummus, should I turn it into a pizza? Comment yeah. down below. Comment. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you. Bye. Bye.